Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving into the latest news about the Fed's interest rate cut and the Republican reaction. And trust me, today's episode is a doozy. Big shout out to our loyal subscribers. You guys are the real MVP. And to those just joining the party, hit that subscribe button and join the fun. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this wild ride with your friends. So buckle up, Buttercup, because today we're diving headfirst into the latest Republican meltdown. You know how much these folks love a good tantrum, and this time it's the Federal Reserve's fault. Apparently, they dared to cut interest rates, and the GOP is having it. I know, right? Shocking. Now, I know what you're thinking, Cinda. Interest rates? That sounds about as exciting as watching paint dry. But trust me, this stuff is important. See, interest rates are like the price of borrowing money. When they're high, it's like trying to buy a Gucci bag on layaway. Expensive and takes forever. When they're low, it's more like hitting up a Black Friday sale. Everyone's borrowing and spending like it's going out of style. Now, the Federal Reserve, or the Fed as the cool kids call it, is kind of like the referee of the economy. Their job is to keep things from getting too wild. Too much spending, they might raise interest rates to cool things down. Economy looking a little sluggish, they might lower those rates to encourage borrowing and spending. It's all about finding that sweet spot, that Goldilocks zone where the economy is growing at a steady, sustainable pace. Section four, Trump's tantrum and the GOP chorus. Enter stage right, the Republican party, with their usual flair for the dramatic. They are fuming that the Fed even about cutting interest rates. I mean, how dare they try to keep the economy afloat? Don't they know there's an election coming up? You see folks, this is where the irony train pulls into the station. Remember all that noise Trump and his cronies made about the Fed being too political? about how they were trying to sabotage his presidency by raising interest rates? Well, now they're throwing a hissy fit because the Fed might, just might, be trying to do the opposite. And let's not forget the chorus of right-wing commentators chiming in, their outrage echoing through the halls of Fox News. It's like a symphony of hypocrisy conducted by none other than Donald J. Trump himself. Section five, the irony of it all. But here's the kicker, quote, the Republicans outrage isn't really about the economy. Oh no, it's about something far more sinister, far more self-serving power. You see, a strong economy, one where people have jobs, and can actually afford groceries, doesn't exactly scream, vote Republican. It's like trying to sell ice to an Eskimo, not exactly a winning strategy. So they're left with this rooting for the economy to tank, hoping that people will be desperate enough to vote for them in sheer desperation. It's a cynical, calculated gamble and one that reveals the true colors of the GOP. They're not interested in what's best for the American people. They're only interested in, in what, what's best for their own political ambition. That's all the time we have for today, folks. Be sure to tune in next time when we'll be unpacking Trump's latest campaign shenanigans. You won't want to miss it. Peace out. Again, thank you to my channel subscribe. You make this channel thrive so others get an everyday 
Black American Housewives take on our political landscape. Please, if you are new here or part of the fam and you enjoy my commentary, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's free. Until next chapter, folks. Cinda369 out.